In this video, we're going to develop a new way of working out the volume of a parallel pipe. So in the past, we would just mindlessly compute uh, the determinant of three vectors, A, B, and C. We would just, we would just compute this, uh, this determinant. So, uh, so as a reminder, if you, to work out the determinant of three vectors, as a reminder, it would be one vector, uh, another vector, and another vector. So uh, your eyes will zoom to the A1, discard, discard, looking at these four, and then take away uh, A2, take away A2, discard, 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 and looking at these four, and so on. So we've seen this in the past. So computing the determinant would then give you the volume. So now, uh, now we're going to develop a new way of working out the volume. But before we do, let me just quickly give you the, re the reminder of the cross product. If you get B cross C, if you get B, if you get vector B cross vector C, so if you get vector B cross vector C, uh, using the right hand rule, your thumb will be pointing up in this direction. So if you get B cross C, it will then give you this vector here. And then, and then the magnitude of this vector represents the, uh, the area of this parallelogram. So the idea here is that we're going to get the area of the parallelogram and then multiply it with a vertical height, with a vertical height from, from the bottom all the way to the top. And this vertical height here would be the same as this vertical height here. Okay, so, so the idea is that we, we, we're, we're going to, um, we're going to use a cross product. We're going to use a cross product. Remember, B cross C would then give us this factor here. So, uh, so, uh, so B cross C would be you doing this, and then it would then give you, uh, it will then give you this factor. It will, this factor here, this factor here is this factor here. And then, if you want to know the the parallel, the area of the parallelogram, you would you you would find the magnitude of this factor. So that's that's a reminder. So let's let's start. So the volume of uh, the volume would be us getting the area of the parallelogram. So that's the base here, times the vertical height. Remember, the vertical height will be from the floor all the way to the ceiling. So that so so that's the same as this distance here from the floor all the way to the ceiling. So the the idea here is to get the base, the area of the parallelogram, and then times to the vertical height, times to the vertical height. This vertical height here will be the same as this vertical height here. So uh, so the area of the base would be us getting B cross C, so B cross C, so B cross C, B cross C would then give us this vector here, would then give us, would it, B cross C would then give us that vector, but then the magnitude of this vector, for some reason, represents the, the, uh, the area of the parallelogram, so this whole thing here now represents the area of the parallelogram, and then, uh, and then we would times the vertical height, well the vertical height would be um, would be you getting the vector a and then dotting it with the the uh, the unit vector that's perpendicular to uh, to b and c so this n hat here is is a unit vector that is perpendicular to uh, to these two vectors that's perpendicular to the plane so this this um, normal vector unit normal vector here would be this length here so if you get the the uh, the actual um, the actual vector a and then dot it with uh, with the unit vector then it will give you this um, this vertical height so so let, let 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 me elaborate more on this in the next video okay so in the next video I will elaborate more on this okay